Okay, so let's begin. So next is about streams. Okay, so what is a stream? Fine. And stream is nothing but it's a kind of a pipeline of operations. You put a set of operations in a pipeline. So, stream is used for creating a pipeline and pipeline of operations. So, I would like to perform this and this operation and this operation everything on a stream of objects. We have stream of objects or it would be performed on a stream of objects. So, if you want to have a stream of objects created, then you will need a source. And what can be a source? Source can be any data structure. Fine, so data structures have so many objects. I can use that as a source. Array, fine. Right? Data structure array is also a data structure anyway. Fine. Right? So, fine from collection API from the arrays. Fine. Right? Or you could create your own stream data source, uh, define your own st stream data source. Uh, so that could be done. Suppose I use a supplier. Just think of a supplier. Fine. So supplier is someone who can uh, supply me any object. So if you have a supplier, I can use it as a source for my stream of objects right? or someone thinks of uh, think of a sequence series we have series you know, we have series how do you get a series uh -huh. fine so if uh, how do I, how do i get a series i have some Starting value, okay. I have a starting value, okay. On that, apply some function and get the next value. What is the next value? On that, apply a function to get the next value. When the previous value is used to get the next value, and here, yeah, series we normally think in terms of values, right. It could be objects. Fine. But I need a function. So if I have such a function, I can use a function uh, rather than a function, I say it, it is a unary operator, same type. Fine. So you could, if you have a unary operator, oh, it could still be used for creating a source point for a stream of objects. And there are various ways you can create stream uh, stream of objects. In the API, there are lot many points where stream of objects can be uh, are available. And for example, if you have a string, think of a string. Uh, we have stream of not only of objects, but even have stream of primitive types. It is a stream of values. For primitive types, we have primitive types int, long and double. So we have streams like, okay, let me put the what are the streams available? We have so what we are talking is from the Java dot util dot stream package. That's a package where we have interfaces. So there's an interface called stream of some type T. And that's an interface. And we have other streams as int stream, long stream, and double stream. I'm going to show it here. Then we have the int stream, long stream, double stream. So there's a stream of values. 
primitive values and the other one is a stream of objects of some type t. Okay. Fine. Stream is not a data structure. Fine. It just needs some source. That source could be from a data structure. And the source could be taken from a data structure. And data structures are those collections. Okay, let us see this. And so, stream as a pipeline of operations, we will see what uh, we have. Streams have a source, right? Zero or more intermediate operations may exist in a stream. Okay. It would have some source point, it would have some intermediate operations, fine, but ultimately there must be a terminal operation. Okay. So, if you have a stream, fine, ultimately what you would do on a stream is a terminal operation to get some kind of a result from it. Okay. A terminal operation. Fine. So, these are the three things we have a source, a set of 0 or more intermediate operations after the source and then you have a terminal operation. The terminal operation results in giving you a value. The intermediate operations would result in another stream. See, what is an intermediate operation? Those operations which would again give you some other stream. And they would just result in one more stream. You have a stream of values, maybe you have a stream of all the account objects, but I want to do something, I want to find the maximum, what is the highest balance I have. I am not interested in the account objects, but that figure of the highest balance. But yes, I start with, my data structure has account objects, I start with the stream of accounts get it converted into a stream of long values. If there is a stream of long values, I have a terminal operation which can give me a maximum from the stream of long. Fine, that is a terminal operation on the long stream. Intermediate operation, oh, there was an intermediate operation which resulted from a stream of account getting converted into a stream of long, long stream. Right? So, stream intermediate operations put you from one stream to another stream to another stream to another stream. Those are the intermediate operations. So, you have a stream, you have operation on a stream. So, you have operation here is nothing but a method. So, various methods available in the stream interface. Methods resulting in another stream, call them as inter intermediate operations and then from the stream getting a final result, fine, some kind of a summarization, oh I wanted the maximum, I want the sum, I want something, fine, fine, the way you do in SQL, fine, many operations available on SQL on your tables, fine, they are available so easily, right, this is doing the same thing, <laughs> but on data structures. On any source, whatever you think as you can take up any kind of a source to create your stream, stream. Okay, fine. Other thing is uh, there is a lazy execution. What do we mean by lazy execution is uh, as, uh, as you write your code, you convert from one stream to another stream. So, when you are using those intermediate operations, when as you write those things, those intermediate operations may think, oh, with, uh, you might get an impression, oh, I am doing something there. No. You are saying, okay, from this stream of account, I want a stream of long. No, nothing is done at that time. From that stream of long, maybe you are doing some more things. When you get it converted to some other things. So, you, you have several intermediate operations on a stream, okay, fine. And then 
you would ultimately put a terminal operation on the final stream which you are having. Right? So, while you have those intermediate operations happening, nothing is done. It just sees that this is what you intend to do, but it does not do anything at all. Right? Because once you put the terminal operation, realizing what is needed for the terminal operation and what are all the intermediate operations which have been, which have to be carried out, it will optimize the things. It will first optimize and then decide how to do the whole thing. It is not one at a time. Okay. It has to optimize. The library. The library is like that. So, the intermediate operations, they do not result in anything unless the terminal is given and unless the terminal operation is performed. And and so, intermediate operations do not actually do. So, that is what is meant by saying, oh, there is a lazy execution, right? And we have that term, lazy execution, okay? And what are the streams? So, I just mentioned that we have a stream of T, we have a in stream, long stream and double stream. This is what we have in the, as streams. Basically, we will be looking at the stream of T, that general one, right? Stream of objects. Fine. What kind of operations are available? Fine. Okay. So, let me just try to show pictorially what it is like. So, if I look at it like this, we have some source. So, there is a source stream created. So, there is some stream S1. Right? When you call a method on this, okay. And if you invoke a method, it would result in, it could result in another stream object. So, we have methods which return stream objects. It may be of the same type of a stream or it may be a different type of a stream. Okay, fine. So, when you want to go from here to here, you might be specifying that on all the elements, this is what is the kind of operation I would like to perform in order to get to this kind of a stream. For example, if it is a stream of account, how do I convert it into a stream of long? Here, I am interested in their balances. What is the operation to be performed on each object? So, I am saying, okay, from the stream of account, if I get the balance, I have the get balance method. If I use that get balance method on the object of the stream, I will get the values. I will get a new stream. So, what you specify here is just the function saying use that get balance on every account object. I am specifying a function. See, a function whose input is account and whose return type is long, the primitive long. So, it is a too long function. There is a method here. Fine. There is a method. Fine. In the stream interface, there is a method. I am giving a specific example. So, we have a method called map to long, whose parameter says if you can give me a too long function of S, so too long function of account, right? too long function of, because it is a stream of t, it is a too long function of t, okay, that is a function. If you give me this, you will get a long string. That is an intermediate operation, because it is resulting in another stream. See, you get this string. Right? So, what, what, what do I give, uh, what do I get, how do I get this long stream? By giving it a function, the name of the method here is map to long. Fine, instead of this, I could have also used another one, which is 
from this stream I might generate a stream of names account holders names oh, this is account but I am interested in only the names a stream of names and I will work only on the account objects and to work on the account objects okay to work on the account objects what would I pass a function which takes account and returns the name string account to string that kind of a function so simple function t to r where t is account and r is return type is string and it is quite simple if you use method reference account colon colon get name and that was account colon colon get balance if you read that code it looks so simple right? Yeah, that fine. So, so on this object, I'll then call another one to get to some other stream. Maybe if you are using a method, you you'll be passing something. I want to do this first. You'll be passing something. You'll be passing some kind of a function, or maybe sometimes you might be passing a consumer. Sometimes you might be passing a predicate or anything, right? But you have those different kinds of things being passed to generate a new kind of a from a stream to another stream. These things, these methods like map to long, map and the other is map basically when I want to get the stream, stream of string. That is a map method. Okay, Those are the intermediate operations because they are giving me a stream. But then from this stream, I finally get a result by calling a method on this. Such methods are the terminal operations. And so, we have categorized as intermediate and terminal operations fine unless you have given this terminal right okay it doesn't do anything no operation is performed because once you have specified what is the terminal that what's the final thing which i want to do it just looks at each step and tries to find an optimal way of arriving at this what's the most optimal way of doing it so it's not Okay, it would only do this first and then it is doing this as second and then this is third. Where parallel things can be carried out, what if, I, if, I, if you could have specified something which may be a redundant thing, some operation may not be necessary. Fine, it's an, some intermediate operation may not be necessary for the arrival of the final result. It would have discarded that. Fine. So, it has its own ways of optimizing it. This is all done in the library, the API. Yeah, the stream is about this kind of a thing. So, we are that when source. source will be the first stream. The first stream, the way to create a stream of how do I first start with the very first stream itself? But how do I get a stream of account? Huh, now, how do I get a stream of account? So, various ways, various ways. So, because I have, uh, so I could have a stream of account and mainly it could be from a collection or it could be from an array. Okay. So, we have in the API, in the collection itself, and so for example, you have your collection interface, right. So, if I have a collection of element E, this interface has a method called stream which returns a stream of E. <laughs> it is as simple. So, my collection of accounts, right, that is accounts, we had that example where we said, okay, collection of account is accounts. That is a variable accounts dot stream. I get it as a stream now. Right? I was doing one step ahead. Uh, if the accounts data now going at the data level, if hmm. it is in the file, we can have file for stream for reading it. Okay, so, yeah, fine. You have so your into collection will be our original process. Now having those account objects in a file, right? So uh, if we think of uh, how do we have those objects, maybe if it is a text file, 
statement. If it's a text file, you can have a buffered reader. Right? So I will give another place where you get a string. So if you have a, in the buffered reader, when we have the class called buffered reader, okay, the buffered reader now has a method to return a stream of string lines. That's it. Just say lines. On a buffered reader, call the lines and you get a stream of string, every line. So, so if you have the object output stream, no, we don't have a stream operation to directly create a stream from there. You may have to write your own supplier or something, and the other ways of doing it, fine, where you will have to create your own. Yeah. Stream, yeah, you can first get uh, that's one option, right. And so various ways of getting the initial stream object. When that's about so initial stream object from a collection, yes, like this. If it's an array, suppose it was an account array. When any array, so in the arrays class, right? Fine. In the arrays class, we have the static method. Okay, this static method with a type parameter t, the name of the method is, uh, okay, return type is stream of t, name of the method is stream, parameter array of t, give an array, method is stream, array is dot stream and you get a stream of that type, it is an array of some type t. So, from an array, yes, converting into a stream, you have a method called static method in the stream interface itself called empty stream. Yeah, streams can be empty, streams can be infinite also. Fine, streams can be infinite. Yeah. That series example, it is an infinite stream. And so, various methods are available for creating a stream. Uh, if you have a string, I was trying to give the, so for example, if you have a string, in the string itself, uh, rather than string, the string is implementing care sequence. The string class is implementing the interface called care sequence. So, it is not only string, but string buffer, string builder, all of them, they would have this method called uh, code points. It returns a int stream, sorry, int stream. You get an int stream. See, we do not have a byte stream or a short stream or care stream. It is in stream, long stream and double stream, only those three primitives. Okay. So, even we have uh, like core points, I think there is someone called cares or care value, I am not sure, cares which returns again a in stream, whether you want the code point values or you want the care values, a stream of them. So, even from a string, something like that, right? you can have a string of integer points in stream in stream. You can create in stream by using methods of in stream. Yeah. Is there a way to group items in a stream into an object right? and create a new stream of the grouped objects? Uh, new stream of the grouped objects. Uh, yeah. Stream, uh, okay, fine, it should be possible, fine, there are, so it is actually an intermediate operation, fine, this would be a, from a stream, is there a way to group items in a stream into an object, right, 
okay so there is one operation uh, it would be actually a stream of one type of object and then which is a grouping operation but then he wants a stream from it a stream of the grouped objects would not be a single step it won't be a single step when it won't be a single step we'll have to do something like a collection and what we get from a collection then again you have to convert uh, into a stream fine so i think we we'll have to do add or in one so collection so there is a reduction operation so string a stream normally is doing a reduction operation so grouping is a reduction operation there could be a file with name okay so you have all these things okay 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 so you create when so see uh, here if your file every line okay every line of your file is containing the data which can help you create an object of a person fine it may be a person here right if it helps you to create an object of a person then yes it's possible so you have right so it's like this here is a object which is your stream of string which you get from a buffered reader fine now from this string if i can up have a function i just need to give a function given one line which has all this data i am able to create call the constructor or call some factory method to create an object of the person so this can then result to me so this is nothing but a map function which can result in a stream of person okay the initial stream has been obtained from a buffered reader fine so it's like this uh so if you want to see so it's something like this uh you have a buffered reader created from a file okay and then you have uh, your buffered reader let me call it as uh, person file reader person file reader okay so if it's a person file reader fine you can create uh, what you are doing is person file reader dot now i'm just giving a method name here map and what i might have done is i might have created a utility class for person fine or maybe in the person class itself i'm now what i'm assuming here is that in the person class there is a static method fine which can create a person object for me okay so maybe the name of the method is get person parameter is a string the string which is all the details right which is coming from a single line and which is coming from a single line okay fine so i'm saying map and what i pass i can use my method reference and say person colon colon get person fine in the person class i am assuming there is a get person method which will take the string because in the stream of string that string is available which will take one line from a line it's capable of returning a count object so there is a method static method to return from a string it is returning a person object that method i am assuming and therefore i do like this so this is now what this whole expression is a stream of person this becomes a stream of person and so to create into an object so one object right
person data is on multiple lines. No, multiple lines, no, uh, this would not help much. With multiple lines, no, because when we convert into a stream, we can't do much about even the sequence. We don't have control over the sequence. We are not controlling the sequence, first line, second line or any such thing. Okay, fine. You, you could have your stream getting uh, filtered by on based on certain criteria. So, you have a stream of some kind and stream of a string, right? But you are only interested in processing the first few lines or the last few lines, not more than so many lines, fine? Those kind of things are there, but no, when once you are getting it as a stream, no, it's not a data structure. Stream is not a data structure. It's only the operations that are being mentioned in the stream. Okay, so, so if you had a stream, if it was possible for you to have a stream, which knows that there are two lines for one person data, okay, and you can create a stream out of the buffered reader, which gives me a string which is made up of two lines, then it would be possible, fine. But no, not from that stream which I get with a single line stream. Fine. From that, creating person like that would not be possible. Fine. I can't say the first line and then the next line. There's nothing like a next operation on a stream or something like that. Fine. I can't loop on a stream. Fine. We don't have kind of a, a sequential operation to do something on a stream. Fine. We don't do anything on a stream. We, when, when we give the terminal operation, then the things will happen. So, map would not work in that case, right? So, fine, map is from one to one only, from one element to another element. Fine, let us see the other stream. I think we will see uh, what kind of stream operations are available. Probably you might get types of streams. You have sequential and parallel streams, okay? So, there are streams which would be doing sequential operation, fine? Okay, so there are streams which would be doing a sequential operation. So they operate sequentially one by one. Okay, because your terminal operation, maybe your terminal operation is saying, I want this to be sorted. Now to sort, no, you don't start using those streams in distributed manner. Maybe you'll have to combine all the things. Fine, you have to go in the sequential order. Fine. And many times there are operations which would require that you should have only, perf uh, you would like to perform sequential operation only. You do not want things to be carried out in parallel, do not partition and carry out things in parallel. Fine. So, such operations may be there and therefore, you have the option of parallel or a sequential stream and the methods available here. Okay. So, given a stream. Okay, let me put here. So, given any stream, let me put the methods of stream some of, as we identify them. So, if I have a stream of t, okay, but since we have the two types of streams, in the stream, I have a method called sequential. I have a method called parallel. So, from this point onwards, this stream becomes, so it does not change anything except for the type of stream becomes sequential or the type of stream becomes parallel. So, they are returning a stream of t. Okay. So, you can find from one type to the other type, the stream conversion is allowed. Fine. So, those would be the methods. And they are the methods of stream. Uh, okay, let me put one more method, but this is method from collection. Okay. Uh, uh, another point was, let me do it here then. In the collection, so I maintain that for streams and this board can be for all other things. Okay. So, in the collection, if I have a collection of E, right. We have this method called stream, that is what I had mentioned. It would give me a stream of E, but there is another method called 
parallel stream. So, you get a sequential stream or a parallel stream from the collection. And in any case, you once you got a stream, you can then switch between parallel or sequential by using the parallel or sequential method. Fine. Okay. Stream creation, various methods in the entire Java API. Arrays dot stream, you give an array. And another alternative is stream in the stream interface itself dot off, when a static method off where you can pass an array. Fine, stream off, give the array, it results in a stream of that type. Okay, stream off, you may give single element. Fine, see when I use the stream off. It is using the where args basically. Fine, I can pass where args. So I can say stream of and give one, two, three, four, whatever number of arguments, those all objects would be taken as the elements for the stream. So stream can be created from that. Okay. So we have the method called lines in the buffered reader. Okay. Static factory methods in the stream. There are some static factory methods in the stream. For example, we have this method called generate. When I was talking about, if you have a supplier, it could be used for creating a stream. That is how you do it. So, stream dot generate and give it a supplier. Fine, it is an infinite stream. Unless, of course, the get method throws an exception, the supplier might throw an exception, then it would break. Fine. We have this iterator, which is nothing but the series, we are talking about a series. So, we have a seed and a unary operator of t. That unary operator is nothing but your function. Fine. Applying that, uh, so whatever is the previous value, use it to generate the next value. Use the unary operator to generate the next value from the previous value. Okay. You have the empty for getting an empty stream. You can concatenate two streams. So, stream dot concat and you give two streams of the same type of course and you will get a new stream which has which is a combination of two streams. Zero elements in that stream. Yes. Hmm. There is nothing inside. So, if you apply some terminal operation, maybe it just results uh, in some value which may say, okay, there is nothing. Fine. Uh, uh, there be, okay, fine. Uh, see, you are creating stream, not uh, empty stream is not only because of empty stream. The empty stream is because the collection was empty. Even there also, you get an empty stream. So, you will have empty streams. Okay, fine. Any place you might require some place. Okay, I need to pass a stream, but I don't have any values currently. Okay, fine. Let's start with let's let's test with what would happen in case of an empty stream. See, even for testing purpose, you might need an empty stream, fine, because your collection would be empty. Fine, at fine. So, in production, there might be cases scenarios which will arise where your collection was empty, and you were trying some operation which was converting it into a stream. So, better to have it tested, fine and if you want to test, you could use the empty stream. No, no, no. Streams are not data structures. They are not data structures. They are not keeping the objects. It is only these operations. It is keeping the operation which is to be performed to go to the next stage. It is only keeping the operations and not the objects. Streams do not keep the objects. They pick it up from the source. Fine. When you give the terminal, then they will process. It goes through this process. It is a pipeline. 
Okay, another way to look at stream now, let me put that other typical way, how do I look at a stream? Fine. Uh, you are familiar with using Linux, somewhat fine, if you have used commands on Linux, yes we use pipe, fine, fine. you are saying cat a file name. Fine. And then we use a pipe. And then what? Some other operation? For example, I will say, okay, I want it to be, so okay, before sort, uh, it is better to use the grep first. I want to do a grep for something. Pipe it. And then do a? Okay. Now, if I say word count, Normally, see one thing, you always have some terminal, after this I won't call an operation. Before this, see look at this thing, this pipe operator which you are putting as your stream object. Fine. You do not end in a pipe, right? After a pipe, you will have to give something, some more operation to arrive at the either the result or whatever is would be done by this has to be passed on to the next one. Fine, so stream is nothing but the pipeline of operations, that is the operation, that is the operation here, that is the operation which is done because word count again can be passed on to something. Fine, it is just the arrangement of all the operations. Okay. Hmm. okay, find methods for creating a stream object, common methods, find there are not many other ways, where, places in the API where streams are available. 